creating an ogive or cumulative frequency polygon. Open up your document where you have created your histogram. Write down the class intervals from the histogram. Use the touchpad to move the cursor over each bar to see the frequency for each class interval. Add a new lists and spreadsheets page. In column A, type in your class interval. In column C, type in the frequency for each class interval. Make sure you leave cell A1 blank and cell C1 should have a frequency of zero. Let's have a look at column B. In an OGIF, the value plotted on the x-axis will be the upper limit of the class interval. Type these values in column B or the value column as shown. Enter the cumulative frequencies in column D. Add a data and statistics page. Tap on the x-axis. Our variable was called value. Now tap on the y-axis and choose cumulative frequency. We have created a scatter plot which shows cumulative frequency on the y-axis and the upper value of the class interval on the x-axis. Menu, plot type, and xy line. Here is our OGIF. Notice it has cumulative frequency on the y-axis. To create an OGIF with percentage cumulative frequency on the y-axis, simply work out percentage cumulative frequency in column E and plot that on the y-axis.